Salut à tous, c'est Mister David et on se retrouve aujourd'hui pour la suite de notre série sur The Walking Dead. Donc voici toujours l'épisode 1, la deuxième partie, et donc on continue. On est en train de s'échapper en voiture euh, lors de l'épisode précédent. Voyons voir jusqu'à où on va bien pouvoir aller comme ça. Mmh. Alors, il y a de la lumière, il y a des gens normalement. J'espère des gens amicaux. Hey Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. Thank you. It was nice to meet you both. <rire> une attaque de zombies tous les gars. Bon, je rentre chez mère en plus. Hein. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. We'll breaking down the way things as mayor has gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chad. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. Qui sont tes amis? Mm, on a juste besoin d'être uh, up là. Help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. <laughs> no so it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? <laughs> yes. Oui. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. <rire> si ma porte une scie, je rigole. On va te tuer les gens, bah écoute. Ah bon, ça va, c'est juste un bandage. Look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. <rire> enflé, enflé. Ça pourrait être pire. Worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Oui, il connaît mon nom et alors. How'd this happen? Un accident de voiture. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? En dehors d'Atlanta. I'm getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. It is. You said we. That's all. We may have. Pull up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. We're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. No. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fence. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Sounds right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. No, no. Dad, I'm serious. Sure no. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Man. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. <laughs> Il juste mis une bande. Wow. If it's hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? On coupe. We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be perfect. <laughs> uh, There's yeah, blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Mmh, bonne question. Ah. 
All right then. Bon, moi bah, j'aurais pas trop confiance de dormir, mais bon. It smells like. Le fumier. Manure. Like when a horse plops. Just like that. <rire> I missed my mom and dad. Bon, on va les retrouver, t'inquiète. Bon, peut-être qu'ils sont pas très très vivants, peut-être qu'ils vont essayer de te bouffer, mais on va les retrouver. Ce serait déjà pas mal. <rire> tu connais ce monsieur Oui, je vais dormir avec lui cette nuit. Aïe, 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 aïe. C'est bon, on fait pas de grands yeux comme ça. On serait dans un film de zombies, je serais déjà mort. Hein. Hey, C'est qui toi Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? Je ne suis pas son père. Babesley, I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Kenny. Better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck. C'est original, Ken Jr. Duck? Yeah. Nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to make it. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. D'accord. Euh, non, je sais pas. We'll tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! <laughs> Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. C'est pas ma tête, j'ai déjà dit. Bon bah, c'est bien. T'as besoin d'un coup de main pour ta voiture Vas-y, parle lui. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Hey Kenny, t'as besoin d'aide Need any help No, I think I got it. Do you need any help <laughs> What do you pour. mean I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing You got kids of your own je vais bien. Think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. Comment va ton fils? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. <laughs> bah... Ouais. So C'est quoi le plan? plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Le gouvernement va commencer à donner des shots et le National Guard va faire son travail. Sur les odd chances que les choses sont trop mal, nous pouvons hop sur mon bateau, je pense. Tu as un bateau. Je suis un commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever is biting and paying. Katja ne serait pas wild about it, mais le bateau n'est pas si mal. Au moins, tu es, es à l'abri. Hein? Bon, ensuite, elle est où la femme Toi You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. 
C'est moi qui ai des beaux cheveux. <rire> hey there, girls. Vous avez l'air détendu. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Tu vas bien, anyway, c'est bon. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past. <rire> c'est pas comme si j'avais éclaté le crâne d'une femme devant elle avant, mais bon. How did you handle this city? Comment vie? Can you just drove? We passed so many people that needed help and we just passed people over some just just uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then I can't take away the things we the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Mmh, les choses arrivent pas all be providence, you know? <rire> non, pas un don du ciel, non. Just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing, new. These past couple days, at least. Ok. So, uh, Sinon, tu fous quoi? What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? <rire> I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What okay. is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Mm, no, no, no. I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well. I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die again, I guess. Back in a bit. Tu dis ça pour ton fils? Non, parce que je sais pas. Apparemment, ton fils est débile, donc. Bon, ensuite, y a qui? Le tracteur, il est là-bas. T'as rien à marcher, oui. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Vas-y, discutons. Okay. Tu seras peut-être plus bavard. Still working on that fence. Yeah. Sean's still working on that fence. How are these things to drive? Awesome. Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than. Uh... Okay. T'as peut-être moins besoin d'aide, non? Sean's still working on that fence. On a compris qu'il travaillait sur la barrière, putain. Moi, je voulais juste aider, hein. Y'a quoi là-dedans? Ok, on est bloqué par un mur invisible. Ouais. Voilà, les déplacements sont pas très pratiques. Euh, bon, c'est cool. Tu t'en sors, toi bon, Je peux plus te parler, alors. Seems like those two are getting along. Ah, je peux peut-être rentrer, non Ok, quelqu'un me dit ce que je dois faire. Quand j'aurai... Bon, je vais retourner les voir. Ah, peut-être que tu veux parler plus, cette fois. Ouais, mais à part saluer, tu sais faire autre chose ou... Non Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. T'as besoin d'aide Need a hand That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. Mais oui, je peux te couper ça, pas de problème. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in the kill a kid, a boy, just shot him right in the face. Il faut faire ce qu'il faut, mais. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pull the trigger. Fuck that, man. 
<rire> J'ai éclaté le crâne d'une femme à coups de marteau. Oui. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Eh ben, pas de quoi. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see bon around, he might want some help in the bar. Dans la grange. Ah bah voilà. La grange, donc. Alors, et toi, je peux te parler maintenant? How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Ha! Très bien, tu fais un petit. Vous en êtes? You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. Je sais que t'as compris. Last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon. My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Ouais, j'espère aussi. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Oui, bien sûr. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What? Oh, I'll get my gun! Wow. Oh no. My leg is stuck. Ah, so Il m'a aidé. <rire> J'ai pas eu le temps de choisir. Bah oui, je t'aide, vas-y. Comment il s'est retrouvé coincé sous le tracteur Non. 
<rire> bien sûr. Ouais, j'ai essayé. Tu vois qu'il fallait faire une barrière plus solide. Putain. Fallait l'écouter. D'accord, la colère, c'est normal. Non, tu viens de perdre ton fils, c'est normal. Ce n'est la faute de personne. C'est pas la faute de personne. Bah, faut pas t'énerver pour si peu. C'est des choses qui arrivent malheureusement. Et c'est sur ça qu'on va se laisser les amis. Et oui, c'est déjà la fin du, de la deuxième partie du premier épisode. Euh, si vous avez aimé, n'hésitez pas à mettre un petit pouce vert euh, sur la vidéo, à commenter, à partager. Et surtout, si ce n'est pas déjà fait, à vous abonner à la chaîne YouTube afin de ne manquer absolument aucune vidéo. Sur ce, je vous dis à bientôt. Ciao